welcome back to part three. Let's get it. I don't know why I just started that off as if we we're about to, like we were in a, a boxing ring or something like under the. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you ready? All right, but anyways, part three. As you see, Allison scratching right now. That was crazy. That was like perfect time. Oh, she cracked the neck. She's scratching out. I think she's ready to get moving here. So, anyways, go ahead and drop a like. Uh, go ahead and subscribe and vote for Tom Vecchi, the mayor. He is for you. The future mayor of Delos Crossing. Tom Vecchi? Yep. Is it really that big of a shock? He owns the only store in Delos Crossing, and he's chummy with the old boys club. Uh, I guess. He never really struck me as having ideas. And he's not exactly charismatic. Well, uh, this is a pretty cool artwork we got right here. Let's take a look. What we got? We got the strawberries. We got some squid. We got, uh, some shrimp. Come on, I'm freezing here. I think that's shrimp. And we got some fish. Nice. I like it. Here right, we go. I want to have the crispy tocino and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm. No, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. Hey, that's pretty cool. See, they seem like they they're turned a fan into a billboard. Yeah, Tessa didn't want to get rid of her old food truck. Too many memories. Great marketing, though, right? You can't miss it. <laughs> Seems like they're a happy family, though. So I'm curious to see what what went wrong. It's a nice snowman. See if we could find a random collectible around here. Oh yeah, you know you know it's gotta be a memory over here for sure. We got the playground going. There we go. So we get closer, there we go. King of the dome. Get it? Cause it's a dome. <laughs> You're gonna fall, stupid. That was funny. I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I loved baiting you. It was my favorite thing. Authorized personnel only. Should we walk up here? Oh, okay. We're not even gonna go to the front door, y'all. Oh yeah, yeah we are. All right, let's stop playing around. All right, should we go through here? Let's go against the grain and go this way. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go shopping. Ah, uh, you right, you right. Just wanna check out one more thing. I really hope they get enough signatures on this. On what? They wanna build a fancy hunting lodge up the river. It's gonna totally screw up salmon migration. Hmm. All right. Let's check out. Tessa still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons of babinka and the Hail Marys start flowing. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. More for us. Crazy that they haven't caught him yet. Hmm. 
Should we go inside or stand around until we become human popsicles? All right, let's get it. So the mail thief, I wonder if we're gonna have a run in with him. We just might. Small town. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> Did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels... complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. You think you could take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. Uh, did I forget my phone? Later. We've got some shopping to do. No way. The Trout King is still here. Uh, how do I Can you believe you? Tessa and Tom were ever young? I heard that. I may have a little less going on in the hair department, but you should see the rest of Delos High, class of 81. Fair oh, enough. Man, Marianne used to sample everything from the bulk bins. Tessa hated it. Hey, have you still not picked anything out? Oh, uh, remind me what we need again. Repeat after me. An all-purpose cleaner, candles, drinks, and some snacks. All right, I got it, I got it. I should grab some bait for my next fishing trip. Athletic, graceful, and spirited. Sounds like you. Sorry. I might be movie star handsome, but I can't act for shit. Hmm. I should write down their info for after the move. Roller derby? Oh, shoot. About to be out there crushing skulls. Oh, yeah, I wish we had a toaster. We could stock up on frozen waffles. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. OJ sound good to you? Yep. Alright. Just gonna and put it in my magic shopping cart. Away from here. Did, did Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. We all go with Bumerang. I'll take the strong one. What up, Mike? Inventory, huh? Ugh, uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? Yeah, I'd be done already, but I'm letting Tyler browse and take it all in. Must be weird for him to be back here. It is, and it doesn't help that everyone around here keeps making it weirder, but he's doing okay, all things considered. Hmm, I feel like there's a story there. Come on, spill. We, uh, we found some stuff in Marianne's room that really threw us for a loop. Do you want to talk about it? I do, but not here. 
and I think it also might not be my story to tell. But maybe all of us can hang out later and you can get the whole messy story. All right, well, I'll be here if you need me. Hey, if we buy ice cream, we can keep it cool in the snow. Ice cream? In 20 degree weather? Hey Tyler, remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. It was a 12 pounder. <laughs> hey Tom, when'd you get that new California plate? Cali. A nice young couple who came through town last summer with the funky van. They sent you their license plate? Their van got impounded. But I pulled some strings to get it out. So by pulled strings, you mean you gave Eddie a discount on those new waiters? I've got friends in high places. Hey, Tyler, candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. I wanted some chips, man. But we gonna got Sugar some, Rush it is. Some candies. Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted Ooh. marshmallow. Ooh. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy ass cookbook? Nope, just browsing these fancy ass candles. You only live once. You only live once, for sure. Let's get it. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. All right, Tom for mayor. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Marianne's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. What happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. <laughs> Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Oh yeah. We having that twin. That psychic power right now. Something's going on. I think we investigate more. Yep, I'm following you. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh? What's your excuse this time? 
Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Oh, this is gonna be cool. So we gotta see your version? Let's get it. Uh, Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? See, the way I'm thinking about it, how Tessa came in, and she was kind of rude to us. So I'm going to go with the first version. Uh, I want to remember. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Yeah, Tessa no, was No, Tessa angry. was. She went on Jack Thompson on her. Which is it going to be? See, uh, see, Tessa was kind of rude to us when she first came in, so. Please, let's just talk. I'm gonna say I want to talk to you now. Or do Final answer. Do I need to start calling in your debts? The Lord disciplines those he loves. You're failing these kids, Marianne. Judge me all you want, but don't spew that hate around my children. Spew hate? I am trying to be your friend. They need a firm, <laughs> guiding hand, and you... My God. You actually think you're being a friend right now? Talking about my children that way? Yes, you might find this hard to believe, but friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. You really want to get into this? Fine. Let's go to your office. I'll be right back, kids. You stay inside, okay? What is wrong with you? I wish you would have trusted me on this. I really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. And regardless of who started things, once they were in the office, they both went at it. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear over the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Yeah, let's ask her. <laughs> this should be interesting. Should we just tap her on her shoulder or go? Boom! Is there something I can do for you? Let's get straight to the point. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself, but you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? 
We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. We should go talk to Tom, right? See if he remembers the song. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. Don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. But it's not bad. What'll they think up next, huh? <laughs> I don't know, Tom. You know? Uh, how's the campaign going? What's next on the campaign trail? A rally down at the harbor. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. That's awesome, Tom. Well, good luck to you and your campaign. I hope everything works out. So, by the way... This might be a weird question, but... Do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time? <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on... Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. Alright, here's the problem, see? See? We have a uh, copyright issue, so. <laughs> oh, wow, so what do we do, y'all? Do we turn up the song? Well, let's find out. Let's see if we can do it without it. Or this video will probably get taken down. I don't want it to get taken down, alright? This is it, right? Think so. <laughs> Whoa. I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? Here we go. The kids keep pestering me for these candies, but they're so expensive. Oh, just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere. Yeah, it's pretty cool that... Oh, what's this? Mom, stop! 
stop. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, oh, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? You think there's more memory lurking around? What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help at the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Marianne? I don't know. I saw it in Marianne's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. If this is true, I want to know how Marianne felt about it. Then we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. Shouldn't we try to find something about the pamphlet Tessa gave Marianne? Good idea. Good idea. What was the organization called? The Alliance Against Other People's Business? Alright, we got any more memories out here? Nope. Alright, here we go. Round two. Tessa versus Allison. Who's gonna win? Is there something I can do for you? So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? <laughs> yes, what a lucky coincidence. Hold on. You sure we've seen everything? Yes. I think we've got a good sense of the situation. It's time to confront her. All right. We're back with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. We were buying groceries, and then you, you stormed in, threatening to call in debts and demanding that Marianne talk to you. It turned into an argument. So you guys went into the office and blasted that song you used to dance to all the time. Call in debts? I never. Like I'm some kind of lone shark. When did this supposedly occur? Well, our memories don't exactly have time stamps. <laughs> I can't be expected to take these accusations seriously if you can't even recall basic details. Oh, oh, really? Well, this happened August 2004. Or was it October? <laughs> but we are going to go ahead and go with October. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. You said she was failing us and called her a bad parent. Was she done being judged by you? Was that it? I really have no idea what you're talking about, and I was never cruel to Marianne. I did everything I could to help her, to help you all. Even when she fought me, even when she screamed and spit in my face for the effort, even when she, even when she didn't deserve it. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Calm down. Look, we know you took care of us, and we're grateful, but I really need you to answer one question. When you two fought, was it ever about me? It was always about a lot of things. She was struggling with everything at the end. Did you try to convince Marianne to send Tyler to some kind of program? No, and I think you should go now. Tessa, I'm here to figure out if Marianne tried to kill me because of who I am. Do you get that? I do, I just... Then why won't you give us a straight answer? I... I truly don't know what went on in her mind that day. And it will always be my deepest regret that I didn't see it coming. 
Now, I understand that this is an emotional topic for you both, and fortunately for you, I keep forgiveness at the heart of my relationships. If you're so fucking righteous, why did you dump Marianne when she was at her worst? I will not be dragged back into this. You need to go. Now. Can we have our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Cool. Bye, Tom. What are you thinking? Just trying to wrap my brain around all that. You know, we might have actually gotten to the truth if you hadn't lashed out at her. Are you serious right now? You were on her case the whole time. Don't turn this on me! It's obvious she's guilty of something, and that's why she doesn't want to talk about it! Ugh, that sanctimonious bitch! Done now? You get all that out of your system? <sighs> Sorry, I got so worked up. It just makes me crazy that she would play dumb like that. She knows how important this is to us. To you. Yeah, but you know, you're onto something with the guilt. She didn't want to admit what they thought about, which makes me think it was me. You spooked her with that talk about the program. I think Marianne really was trying to figure out how to support me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. You may be right. Yeah. She stood up for me, Allison. She was still crazy Marianne, but she saw me. I feel lighter. Like I've been carrying something around for the last 10 years and now it's gone. I... I'm really happy for you. But... That just opens a whole new box of Pandoras, doesn't it? Yeah, a whole damn shipping crate full. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office, upstairs. Alright, here we go. Damn, they still got this creepy mascot, huh? <laughs> what? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. He's Delos Crossing's longest serving officer. <laughs> Hold on. Of course, it's locked. One hundred percent college tuition paid? Damn. Maybe I should have joined the National Guard. Beats it. Well, should I decide the wild world of accounting isn't for me? Uh, can't really picture you in the uniform. Really? I think I could pull it off. Ugh, that's still not cleaned up. Assholes. I wonder if the black oyster catchers were still nesting during the spill. God, I hope not.
Hey, so it looks like we didn't get no collectibles over at the grocery store. So if we do end up going back there at some point, let's take a look around. Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. It's freezing in here. <clears throat> Locked. Whew. That is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. Just taking a look around. What? Claire Brown went missing on a snowmobile trip? Yeah. I thought you were still here when... <sighs> Something's in the way. Alright, looks like we got a memory. I can't believe they're still sending psychiatric patients to prison. What's that? Alaska only has one psych hospital, with less than a hundred beds. If anyone else ends up in distress, they go straight to jail. Damn. I didn't know that. How do you know? Aaron. He's really passionate about that stuff. I went with him to protest the Capitol building a couple of times. You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? <laughs> Shit! Stop touching everything, Butterfingers! Sorry. The Delos Crossing Raiders. They got a basketball team now? Yep. A few cops from this station and some firefighters from the next town over. How good are they? Mmm... Eddie's within earshot, right? I think so. Then they're great! All right, here's our next memory. Let's get it. <sighs> Something's in the way. Here we go. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. Oh, suck it up, guys. So it was in this door. I guess let's just go upstairs. Tyler, you coming? This is kind of creepy being in here. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. What you trying to get in over here? The armory? Oh my god. <laughs> you think we could find some files we got there yet? I don't know, but it's off limits anyway. Maybe Eddie would show us her files? Maybe. Let's use these keys though. Oh, hold on. <sighs> 
think they see something's in the way. In the, in the armor? <laughs> nah. You know, I really thought I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. Whew, Rose never lets me back here. Rose left the computer on. Oh, password? Get out of here. I'd be dope if we did get the password. Set your password with the introduction. Of Please note that the reception desk computer can now be accessed using any officer's ID and password. Oh. Okay. So basically we could use any officer's ID. So how do we go to user? Probably gonna have to use Jay Griggs and his password. Um, we're gonna find out. Two of them. Oh, there's a memory right here. Where are we going? We're just going to sit down in here, and I'm going to ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. You okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. What do you think the password is, y'all? It's gotta be like his, his badge number or something. Which one is his desk? Looks like she forgot her locker key here. Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. Ooh, go ahead and, uh, we can take She's going to give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. Happy 29th birthday, Denise. Hold on, hold on. I think I have an idea. We're gonna use Denise's, I was gonna say birth year, but maybe. All right, so she's 20, 29. I don't even know what year it is. Shoot, have y'all been paying attention? Uh, this probably won't be her birthday. I really want to get into that computer. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, Crazy D? Oof, I should have gotten her something. You're a terrible person. 
It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh, damn. Poor D. Let's wish her a happy birthday. Maybe she won't notice that I added it afterward. Oh, let's look at the year. See if we could. Let's see. What's his name? Jet? Okay, Jet's not up here. I'm going by the dog's name, Jet. <laughs> um, trying to see if the year can unlock. I think it's a five digit code. So we looked at everybody's desk. All right, Becker Dean, one five four five two eight. Oh, that's some mental health. I'm thinking it's gonna unlock the thing. <laughs> um, hey, that coffee is sounding real good. Where's the break room? Passcode or oh, Greg's just leaving this out on display again. Greg's, like Officer Greg's, the one who was with us that night. Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick. Remember, Mr. Haynes? Vaguely, he had that workshop in his garage, right? Made those huge glass sculptures. Yeah, he's been missing for a couple months. Damn. Always liked his art. They never did find him. This happened when we were kids, right? Yeah. Marianne freaked out and wouldn't drive after dark for a few weeks. I'm gonna take a look at that password one more time. I'm gonna examine it here. Alright, yeah, it is five digits. Okay. Maybe it's, let's see, oh, duh, Tyler, dear, let's go ahead and type that in. Damn it. Oh, Ollie. Damn it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Um, Alright, name. Let's go back to their desk. I'm gonna try their with the picture. It's probably trying to give us a hint. So we're gonna examine. See what we got. Oh my god, that's the cutest. It's cute, but don't tell me you've got baby fever. Ew, no. Why do men always jump to that? Okay. You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who are always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot? Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? Alright, so it could be Shelby. That could be the password we're looking for. Could 
Shelby, Shelby, y'all. Let's try it again. Can we get, oh, that is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. All right, good try guys, good, good try. I forgot it was just five. five there. Allison, how about that coffee we were talking about? Ah, it's gotta be a hint on one of these tables. Try that table. Excuse me, excuse me. So this is Greg's. Joshua Gregs. Let's take a look at his table. I can't believe they're time. going to prison for nothing. Let's see what we got. All right, let's just go get the coffee. Never gonna catch this guy. What exactly did he do? This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. <laughs> uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, the mailbox is the bandit. <laughs> Sorry, it was a bad joke. Oh, Alright, let's go get that coffee. Hold on, hold on. What's the name of Got the name of the right, what's this again? I'm over here trying to find all the clues we could find right now. Well, let's go get some coffee. Okay. We're just going in people's lockers now? Is that what we're doing, Allison? Yep, it's locked. Oh, I thought that was my phone, but I hear somebody's phone. Ugh, in the they've let this place get gross. Ooh, that's gotta be a new record. Is that you the think they'll mind days? if I take one? These are definitely the same cookies that were here last week, but knock yourself out. <sighs> I'm so hungry. How is this still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. 
It's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No, no way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? Yo, what were they lying about? Yo, wow. I'm not finished talking. Come here. It's the first time I've been in here since... that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Here. Have a seat. All right. Ah, damn it. Um, sorry. Huh, they kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Wow. Huh, what's that back there? No way. Have you been hiding back here all this time? What in the... We'll take it. The Ice King! Let's go! We got the Ice King. Ice King. Ice King. We got the Ice King. Ice King. Ice King. We got the Ice King. Alright, let's go. I'm pretty sure Chief Brown is done with his phone call by now. Yeah, that's wrong. I see where this memory goes. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. You're awfully quiet. This is heavier than I expected. <clears throat> so, isn't Brown waiting for us? We should head back to his office. Yep, let's do it. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you, a man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I always say children of the future. I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. 
Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for... weeks. Maybe a month before. Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you going to help us? Or are you going to be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? <sighs> Look, Uncle. Separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, little moose. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. And we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. I know there's something more at that police station. Wait that, what the heck? What the f- Stop! <laughs> Allison! Allison! <laughs> Please, Mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. 
I'm going to kill you! No, please. I killed her. I killed her. Allison, we need to call for help. I killed her. No, you didn't. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're gonna tell them. No, no. Yes, we look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. That was insane. I did not see that. <laughs> I did not see that happening. Anyway, chapter two will be out next week, and I can't wait. I'm excited. I'm excited for chapter two. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm blown away right now. I just let's let's uh let's dissect this real quick. Uh. <laughs> So when Allison stabbed her mom in the back, she said, Allison, this isn't what? And then she fell into the water, dead. It was as if, hold on, time out. As we're dissecting this, when Tyler was leaving the police station, did you see that shadow figure in the back? That was creepy as heck. What the freak? That was insane. Oh. And then, remember when um, Allison was like, the coffee, that's weird, the coffee pot is warm. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. That's wild. Like, I don't, I don't know how to feel about that. Like, and then I really want to know the password to the computer. So if you guys know the password, just drop it in the, in the comments in the section. If not, we're going to come back to it. We're going to unlock it. Um, oh, there's the voice actors right there, y'all. There you go. I'm gonna do some research on this game and because I'm very interested in everything. Um, how they did it is the trans character Tyler is he a you know a real trans gender in real life? You know the for the voice actor because that that would be a big step you know for video games. So, um, but they did a they did an awesome job. Um, I don't know how the quality of the film is going to come out, you know, um, on my measly to, to computer, but, <laughs> you know, measly or not, it ain't going to stop me putting out content. It's not. So go ahead and subscribe to the captain. But the quality on here on the monitor, though, be, before it's transferred over into this, this little bitty OBS, this window over here I got, um, the graphics are great. It's wonderful. So, 
Hope you guys can enjoy it as much as I enjoyed it. Go ahead and and subscribe uh, to the captain, Captain CB, and leave a like and drop a comment. Let me know what's what's going through your mind right now. Uh, we got a week to talk about this, so um, don't be afraid afraid to you know to chit chat it up. So I mean, I'm talking through the whole credits. I'm just gonna keep talking until the credits are over. I don't care. Thank you very much. I love you guys. It means a lot to have 50 subscribers. For real. 50 subs. I'm truly blessed. If I have 5 subs, I'm still truly blessed. But 50 to me, that's that's amazing. So, um, I love each and every one of you guys. Um, it would be nice to get 50 likes. So we could get 50 more subs. You know, get the algorithm kicked up. You know, because I, I just would love to build a community of nothing but love. So, like I said, like I'm going to put in the description of this video. Don't nod. It's breaking down glass ceilings for what they did. So, this is amazing. This is big. So, I'm just, I'm just blown away for how, for how brave brave they were to uh, put this game together uh, especially with the world that we live in right now it's so much just craziness going on so like I said uh, before I fully support the LG B TQ community so um, and if I said it wrong I deeply apologize I want to become more educated on it you know this this game has opened up up my mind a lot so, um, round of applause, P uh, round of applause. So, bravo, bravo. Um, getting a little cotton mouth here, a little bit dry, cause uh, uh, uh this, cause I'm ex I can't wait for next week. So, by them dropping it out like this, each chap, these next few uh, episodes, chapters each week. It's going to be like watching a TV show, like diving in, you know, a three-hour TV show that I'm excited to, to be involved with. Um, yeah, so it kind of sucks, though, when we had the music playing in the grocery store and we couldn't hear the audio. So I want to do some research, check out some other gameplay videos and see if they had the audio, see what's going on with that. Anyways, credits are over. I love you guys. Uh, oh, let's see what we got. Tyler and Allison. Allison was happy that Tyler accepted Eddie's peace offer. For sure, for sure. 79% accepted the ring. 12% refused the ring. 9% threw it in the ring in the water. You guys are savages, yo. Uh, let's see what else. 82% uh, solved the door puzzle. 18% busted the door open. You guys are nuts. You guys are nuts. Um, did we miss anything? Uh, Tyler felt um, recognized by Alice's lack of trust at the store. 54% chose Tyler's memory. 46 chose Alice's memory. Well, I didn't want our mom to be some nutcase, you know? Um... Tyler was reassured of his bond to Allison when she sided with him at the station. I got you. Same fire percent sided with Tyler. 25% sided with Eddie. Um, Tyler protected himself against Sam's aggression. 52% called out Sam. 48% didn't call out Sam. Dang. Makes me look like a little chump. 48%. Um, Tessa shut out the twins about Marianne. 45% learned the truth. What? 27% didn't get the answer. 28% antagonized Tessa. What? Oh, I went too hard on that one, huh? But what can you do? Eddie felt rejected by Allison when she didn't sign with him at the station. Yeah, went with the bro. Right. Love you guys.
Peace, love, happiness. So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. <laughs>